Hi, good morning. Uh, thank you for attending my presentation. Let me, let me start. I'm Masaki Matsushita, a member of OpenStack R&D team at uh, NTD Communications. We are the largest telecom company in Japan and providing internet access here as a network sponsor. I started to contribute to OpenStack since Kilo cycle. In Liberty cycle, 16 patches were committed to Trob, Oslolog, and Oslo Config. I also work for CRuby as a committer, mainly for performance improvement. First of all, let me talk about what are log collectors. Log collectors provide unified logging layer. Without log collectors, you have to write many ad hoc scripts to handle logs, and they must be complicated to manage. By introducing log collectors, you can collect logs from many sources and output logs to various data stores with one software. Log collectors have three layers, input, filter, and output. Each layers are implemented as plugins so that you can easily replace them depending on your situation. Input plugins are responsible for collecting data. In this figure, the tail plugins is configured to read log, log files, and the syslog plugin is uh, receive logs from OpenStack processes. Filter plugins are useful to grab logs or add some additional filter fields. And output plugins send logs to each destination. Frenti is the one of log collectors. It is written in C Ruby. You might already know Google adopted Fluentd as a standard log collector in Kubernetes. Fluentd is maintained by Treasure Data Inc., the company providing analytics infrastructure as a service. Logstash is another implementation of log collectors. It's written in JRuby and maintained by Elastic Co., the company developing Elasticsearch. These two log collectors have very similar features, and, and they can do almost the same things. Today, I will show you some comparisons of them from several aspects. This is a brief outline of my presentation. First, I will compare the two log collectors in terms of configuration, plugins, performance, and transport protocol. Then, I will show you how to integrate OpenStack with Frenti and Logstash while considering high availability. Let me move on to the first aspect of comparison, configuration. Frenti and Logstash are configured in different styles. On Frenti, every inputs are tagged and logs are routed by, ta by the tag. In this figure, Nova API logs are tagged as openstack.nova, and Cinda API logs are tagged as openstack.cinda. So, Nova API logs are routed to InfluxDB because it is much this section, and Cinda API logs are routed to Elasticsearch. Here is an input configuration of Fluentd. Every input has their own tag. In this example, Fluentd is configured to tail nova api.log, and the input will be tagged as openstack.nova. Every, every input will be tagged uh, with tag attribute like this. Then, uh, imp target inputs are matched uh, in match section. In this case, the input in the previous slide will be matched at the first section. 
uh, because it's tagged as novstat.nova. You can also use wildcards like the second section. As a whole, nova related tags uh, will be routed to Elasticsearch at the first section, and all other OpenStack related logs uh, will be routed to InfluxDB. If you want to output logs to multiple destinations, you can use copy plugin. In this example, uh, the friend D sends same logs simultaneously to two destinations, InfluxDB and Elasticsearch. Let's take a look at log stash configuration. Differently from friend D, there is no tags in log stash. All inputs will be aggregated and scattered to all outputs. This figure shows that inputs from Nova API and Cinder API are aggregated and scattered to outputs. Uh, this is the configuration corresponding to the previous slide. So let me compare friend DN with log stash in configuration. In order to compare, let's assume that uh, we have three inputs uh, corresponding one to one to each output separately. In this situation, friend D can route different streams separately in simple tag matching. On the other hand, you have to split logs to do the same thing with log stash uh, because all inputs are aggregated in log stash. You need to define conditions uh, li like this to split aggregated logs. As you can see, uh, these conditions might be complicated. For the second case, let's assume that uh, we want to aggregate uh, logs from all inputs and send aggregated logs to several destinations. In this case, log stash can be configured quite simple, quite simply uh, for unconditional scattering. To make the equivalent configuration with friend D, you have to use copy plugin. Let me summarize this part. Friend D and Logstash have different style of configurations. Generally speaking, friend E is suited to handle multiple streams separately. But by contrast, Logstash is good at handling logs in gather scatter style. Next topic is about plugins. Briefly, they both provide number of plugins. There are more, more than 300 plugins for Frenti and more than 200 plugins for Logstash. Popular plugins are bundled with Logstash so you will not need another plugins in many cases. These bundled plugins are maintained by Logstash project. That's a great point of Logstash. Friendly is packaged only, only with minimal plugins, so you will need to install some plugins. And most, plug most friendly plugins are developed by individuals, so some plugins may not be maintained well. Plugins can be installed easily by one command uh, with both friendly and logstash. Next thing is performance. To be honest, I can't say which one is faster. Uh, because that depends on circumstances. What I can say is that uh, both Fluentd and Logstash are more than enough faster uh, to use for OpenStack. They can handle more than 10,000 logs per second. Then, uh, fit does greatly affect performance. 
it's not a good idea to apply heavy filters on log collectors. Heavy workloads should be performed on data processing structures. Next, uh, I have heard many times that uh, C, C Ruby is slow uh, because it has ZBL, uh, and, and only one thread can run at the same time. Uh, that, that is not true, uh, especially for I.O. bound loads. This diagram shows uh, two threads attempt to perform I.O. operations at the same time. Uh, when thread one is executing Ruby code, uh, thread two have to wait GVL. However, GVL is released just before actual read or write uh, in this section. And then thread two acquires GVL to execute Ruby code. Then uh, actual uh, I.O. operations uh, can be performed in parallel. Let me move on next topic, transport protocol. Friendly and Logstash have their own transport protocol. Friendly has forward protocol, and Logstash has Lumberjack protocol, and they both support failure detection and fallback. Here is an example of active standby configuration in Logstash. There are, uh, there are primary node and secondary node. In this configuration, secondary node is used only when primary node fails. On the other hand, uh, friendly runs in active active mode by default. In this case, uh, DEST1 and DEST2 are configured to as destinations. Source friendly instance will send logs to DEST1 and DEST2 simultaneously. Outputs are equally balanced. Please note that uh, it's, it's a client side load balancing. Uh, you can configure active standby mode by standby attribute. When you specified standby attribute on the server, uh, it is used uh, as secondary node. Uh, in, this, in this case, uh, as a node named secondary uh, will be used uh, when primary node fails. When T has some additional features, you can configure weighted load balancing. This configuration means uh, that 60% uh, of outputs are sent to test one, and 40% and, uh, are sent to test two. If it's a uh, test one or test two fails, uh, of course all outputs are sent to the active server. The another feature is at least one semantics. Uh, when require arc response is specified, uh, source friendly weights acknowledgement from the destination. Source friendly instance attempts to retransmit until acknowledgement is received. This feature enables a more reliable output, uh, but it may affect performance. Let me summarize. Uh, both transport protocols are capable of high availability in active standby mode. However, as we have seen, uh, Friendly's forward protocol has some great features, active-active uh, mode and at least one semantics and weighted load balancing. Uh, next thing is for us. Uh, what is a lightweight implementation in order to tail logs, log files and send logs to uh, log collectors? 
Folders have only limited features and not pluggable, but they, uh, they use less memory. And they are built as one binary. This means less dependency and easy installation. Uh, these two folders have little different behavior when multiple destinations are specified. A fluent folder will send duplicated log to all servers. On the other hand, a log stash folder will send only one server marked as active. I'd like to move on to the main topic, uh, how to integrate log collectors with OpenStack. I will introduce three ways to send logs to log collectors. First, you can tell log files by local fluentd or log stash. In this way, you have to pass many form of log files. The second way is as syslog. Our syslog is installed by default in most Linux distributions. So you don't need to install agent to servers. The third way is direct output from Oslo log. Oslo log is a logging library used, used by OpenStack components. We can receive log uh, without any passing in this way. For the first way, we can tell log files. Uh, this is a logging architecture with local fluentd on each OpenStack node and two aggregators to receive logs from them. You can configure high availability in active standby or active active mode as we have seen. As you know, uh, there are many, many log files related to OpenStack. Uh, it's troublesome to configure to handle all log files. So wildcards are useful to specify log files uh, for a component. Here's an example of obtaining log files related to Nova. Another problem is parsing. You have to parse many forms of logs for analysis. Here is an example of parsing Nova API's log. Uh, it's a regular expression here. So <laughs> this example is a configuration only for Nova API.log. The second way is our syslog. In this way, OpenStack components will send logs to local RCS log. Then, local RCS log will send logs to aggregators uh, by syslog protocol in TCP or UDP. Logging.conf is a file used to configure logging in detail. Here is an example of logging.conf to send logs to rsyslog in JSON format. Output to rsyslog is configured in the handler section. Syslog handler is specified here, and syslog facility is set to local one here. In formatter section, uh, this JSON formatter will format logs in JSON. Uh, it's an uh, example output from JSON formatter. The syslog facility is useful to distinguish uh, where does the log come from. In syslog, you can assign user-specified facilities as from local 0 to local 7. Logs are tags like, as like syslog.local0 in friendd. For example, uh, you might assign these facilities, as you can see.
Here is the example of rsyslog.conf at OpenStack nodes. Our syslog supports high availability in active standby mode. Both Fuente and Logstash have bundled syslog plugin. There is a difference between them in using protocol. In Fuente's syslog plugin, you need to choose either TCP or UDP, and UDP is used by default. If you, if you want to receive logs reliably, you can specify to use TCP with protocol type attribute. On the other hand, Logstash will listen on the same port both, uh, with both TCP and UDP. To pass logs in JSON format, you can set the format or a codec option like this. The third way is direct output from Oslo log by using friend handler. Friend handler sends logs directly from OpenStack components by forward protocol. Logstash also can receive forward protocol from friend handler. Currently, when the handler can send logs only to one host, uh, that's why I introduced local Fuente in this figure. Uh, this local Fuente is responsible for buffering and load balancing. Here is uh, login.conf to use friend handler. The friend handler is included in friend logger package. To handle logs with friend handler, logs must be type of dictionary in Python. The friend formatter provides logs as dictionary. It is proposed by us uh, as a blueprint for Oslo log. By using friend formatter, Fuente and Rockstars can receive logs without any parsing. This is an example output from friend formatter. You can get logs in this form uh, without any parsing. Finally, let me summarize today's presentation. In the as aspect of configuration, Friend E is suited to handle logs separately. Meanwhile, Logstash is suited to handle logs aggregately. To achieve highly available log co correction, uh, both Friend E and Logstash are capable of failure detection and fallback. However, Friend E is some great features. Client side load balancing, at least one semantics, and weighted load balancing. The last topic was integration with OpenStack. Friend formatter enables to get logs as type of dictionary without any parsing. Uh, we need more reviews for our print, uh, friend formatter of Oslog. So that's it. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, we are running our booth over there, and I hope you will enjoy robot racing over WebRTC in our booth. Thank you. <laughs>